Kids Church at home. We are celebrating the end of the year today. Really? Let me tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But first, our shout out this week goes to Aiden and Jessica. Happy New Year to you! Happy New Year. It's not New Year's, is it? Well, in the church calendar, the first of Advent, which is next week, marks the beginning of the Christmas season. And that is considered the beginning of the church year, which makes this Sunday the last Sunday of the church year. And so it is... Happy New Year's Eve to you! <laughs> Traditionally, on this last Sunday of the church year, we call it the Reign of Christ Sunday, which kind of means the way Jesus would rule the world Sunday. That's what it is. It's the way Jesus would rule the world Sunday. So we take this time to look back over the last year, all the stories that we learned, all the lessons that we heard, and to put those all together and think about if Jesus ruled the world on all these lessons and stories, what would the world look like? Because the thing is, the way Jesus would rule the world is very different from the way humans rule the world. Jesus lived in a world where power made people hungry and lonely and afraid and divided. And Jesus had all kinds of lessons and stories and wisdom about how to turn that power upside down so that the poor people and the lonely people and the hurt people and the sick people would be important. They wouldn't be ignored. They would be lifted up and helped. In fact, the decisions of how to rule the world would be made by those who had the least. Jesus had stories about Banquets where instead of the most important people sitting at the center, the important people would be at the end and it would be the least who would be at the center. Jesus had stories about how when people were hurt, it wasn't always the religious people who helped, but it was the stranger who reached out and lifted them up. Jesus had lots of stories that really turned the whole idea about power and the world and rules upside down and made it so that in his world, people would be equal and people would know that they were all equally important in God's eyes. Because really, that's truth. We are all equally important in God's eyes. So, this is going to be an extra short video because what I want you to do today, I want you to imagine, what would you do if you ruled the world? What would the world look like if you ruled it? If you woke up tomorrow and you were in charge, what's the first thing that you would see? What's the first thing that you would hear? What's the first thing that you would do if you ruled the world? And when you got up from your bed or wherever you were waking up from, what would be the first thing that you would do? Who would be the first people that you would see? And once you did that, what would the rest of your day look like? What would the world around you look like? Where would you live? What would that look like? What would it feel like? Who would be there with you? Would there be school? What would you do when you left the house? There are so many questions. So use your imagination. If you ruled the world, what would it be like? And then leave all your comments down below. I want to see what the world would look like if you ruled it. Maybe while you're thinking about that, you might also think about how would that be 
the same as the way Jesus would rule it? How would that be different from the way Jesus would rule it? And what goes into your decisions? Why do you choose to rule the world in that way? Why do you want the world to look that way? And last but not least, think about that world that you rule and think if there's one thing that you could do tomorrow that would make it one step closer to your dream world. Is there one thing that you could do right now or tomorrow that would bring you one step closer to the world as you see it perfectly. And then do that and make the world that you live in one step closer to your perfect world. That's your challenge, my friends. I'm gonna leave all the work up to you this week to use your imagination and leave all your answers below because I don't want to give you my answers. I wanna know what your world would be like. So as you go on this trip of imagination, I bless you this New Year's Eve, this last Sunday of the church year before we get into our Christmas season. May there be love in your heart to give in that world of yours. May there be joy in your heart to share in that world of yours. And may there be strength in your heart to lift others up in that world you create. See ya.